Okay, so let's consider the E-winch setup. First, what you need to get is you need to get a good um, hitch bar. Now, this one has um, seven and three quarters, almost an eighth, eight inch drop like this. So it was designed to be like this. It comes from U-Haul and you just flip it over and install it like this. Now, I don't have a stock uh, hitch receiver, as you can see. So mine is installed actually also at U-Haul. So it sits a little lower. So that's the reason I need a little bit of a higher bar. But most people can make do with like um, five and a half or five and three quarter inch drop, I think. Um, so you have a, a hitch mount like this and you don't need a hitch ball. You just need a one inch hole in there and that's it. So then we open the trunk. And we get the rig and put it on the hitch bar. So it weighs about 20 kilos or 40 pounds. So we put it on here. And the motor has connectors, so we connect it to the control box. Like this and like this. The other connector is a spare. Uh, so then the box connects to the battery. Here is the battery. We can check the state of the battery. It's showing 69%, so pretty much 70%. That's good enough. So we connect this here. All right. And then we connect the antenna. Now, in a lot of cases, you can just keep the antenna in the car if you're you know, standing by the rig, towing others, you can keep the antenna in the car. But if you're gonna self-tow, it's better if you put the antenna up on top of your car. That way you will have uh, more range. So I have this little magnetic um, base here. So you put that on top of your car and you put the antenna up. Now the cable, the antenna cable connects here. So we got an XLR connector here. So we connect it here. All right. So battery, control box, winch. I guess another thing we need to do is install the guide bar. So we take this guide bar out and we install it here. Okay, then we can take care of the line. So we take the line, put it through the eye, and that's it. All right, so I got a remote control here. So I turn the remote on, I turn the box on. Let's see. Okay, so basically when the, the box is on, when the rig is on, it will have um, like an electric brake. Like right now, if I try to yank the line hard, it's not gonna let me do it because it has a built-in brake. And let me wheel it back in. So. So basically, or like if you're towing, let's say you're towing like this. As soon as you let go of the throttle, you're gonna have, oh, I tripped on the drogue here. But anyway, as soon as you let go of the throttle, the brake is engaged. So that's how you avoid any kind of tangles. Um, even though, as you can see, the spool doesn't have any, uh, you know, like covers or cuffs or anything. Uh, people have been asking, you know, do you get tangles on this? And the answer is no, 
once you have this electric brake engaged, which I do. So that's how it works. This is, you know, you can't really, you can yank on the line, do whatever you want, but um, it's gonna keep it all nice and, and tidy. So that's it. That's the setup. Um, all you do afterwards is um, you release the brake and lay out a bunch of line and then go towing or self-towing, whatever you want to do. Thanks for watching.